What is up, guys? Uh, Yard Show Cyclist here with um, a quick BMX. And uh, so, what we're going to do with this one, we're just going to kind of do a fine tuning. I got this one for $3. And this is kind of what you get for $3. You get a kind of, you know, run down old spray painted BMX with cracked tires. Nothing, nothing high end at all. But uh, we're gonna, we're gonna know some of you are thinking this is a big box brand, Target, Kmart, whatever uh, bike. So it doesn't deserve to be brought back to life, but um, it doesn't deserve to be in the landfill either. And that's the big thing is like me, I just like keeping stuff out of the landfill and it deserves to be saved. At the end of the day, I feel like this particular bike deserves to be saved and it will be saved. And all said and done, this is probably gonna be one of my cheapest builds ever. I should be in her for under 10 bucks. If I could get away with not uh, putting a new chain on her, which I just noticed, uh, it has a crack right there. So, you know, it looks like I'll be in there for, you know, 10 bucks and a new chain. But at the end of the day, like I said, for me, it's worth it because it doesn't get stuck in the landfill. That's the big thing guys is, you know, let's just, let's just skid them on the road. Some little kid will be happy as hell to enjoy this. I would give it away, but it doesn't have any brakes and I'm not gonna put any brakes. So I might sell it for like 20 bucks, put a disclaimer, hey, has no brakes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But for right now, I'm gonna strip it down and uh, let's go ahead and start that. All right guys. So once again, here's all the carnage, bike parts. Uh, I'm gonna reuse everything except for the chain, which I'm kind of upset about. And I went ahead and got two new tubes. So a quick breakdown. I got the bike complete for $3, no brakes. I got the tubes uh, from a friend of mine. They're, they're not high-end tubes. They're not like bike shop quality, they're probably I, mean, I got them at the bike shop, but I got them both for five bucks. So, so far I'm in the bike for $8. I'll clean up all this part right here, the gram right there. Give it a quick wipe down, add new grease. One thing I hate doing, I don't know why I hate doing it, but I hate putting new grease on bearings, but I'm on wheels, but this one, I just has like no movement. So I'm gonna have to put, uh, New grease there. Since I'm there, might as well put new. Oh, this one actually still spins kind of smooth. I might be lazy and not do that one, but definitely gonna do the free wheel. Cause the free wheel is just like, it's not free. So I'll clean everything up, uh, clean this up. Give the frame a quick wipe down once again. Not. It's not getting a lot of attention, but even this is more attention than uh, what a lot of people feel it deserves. A lot of people would have just let it ride in the in the scrapyard. Um, I didn't want to do that. Once again, I just want to get it rideable for someone could enjoy. Maybe, you know, go to school and back, go out with a friend with the bike rides and just something useful to come out of this $8 versus me stuck in the landfill. So that's my plan right now. Let me go ahead and give it a quick clean up. All right, guys, she's done. What you see behind you is uh, the back wheel freewheeling. But if you remember the front of the video, the freewheel was completely cased, like rusted shut. So I hit it with some uh, some PB blaster, freed it up. PB blaster, freed it up. PB blaster, did that several times and I was able to get the, the free wheel to be free. So let's go ahead and check out this bike right here. Ba -da! Go ahead and stop the wheel now. So we're still going. So as you can tell, it is a BMX. Most likely it is a Haro imitation BMX from the best I could um, 
make through is probably like a X Games or a Tony Hawk or you know something that wasn't it's not a high-end bike like don't take this out and like completely thrash it because uh, it won't last uh, one of the big telltale signs is um, C-clamp, um, kickstand uh, if your bike has a kickstand most likely it's it's not that high enough of a bike BMX um, it's not that high enough of a bike so just keep that in mind has a little screw right here probably for like a fender or a mount I don't really know but it has a screw right there so that was one of my first indications that it wasn't anything too special and the other indication was it has no markings or stampings anywhere usually if it's a haro a gt or anything like that i'll have a stamping here which it does not and i'll have a stamping here on the forks which it does not and it will not have these big old uh savers here uh probably asking like why are they so real well because if they don't have that the wheel will literally like fall off the fork so that's why it's there so let's go ahead and do a walkthrough on her and everything is black as you could tell wasn't originally black but you know it's got an x style uh front sp sprocket star whatever you want to call them uh i call them chain rings sprockets uh well, you know one piece crank you could tell because all this is one piece it's got the little pedals uh, i did have to replace the chain i don't even know where i got this chain but it was in my uh, chain bundle so luckily i had it i was like damn i usually deal with uh, vintage road bikes so i wasn't sure or geared bikes to be honest with you so i wasn't sure if i was gonna have one but then i remember uh i deal with a lot of fixies too so that one's probably one that came off of fixie went ahead and kept the kept the original well not original but the wheels and tires it came with once again everything's painted black and as you could tell it spins freely so you know why mess with it uh i did like i said i did free up the free wheel uh i did put new tubes in the front and in the back just because i didn't want to air them up and then wait 20 minutes or an hour to see if they were actually going to hold air they're the they're the old tubes right there so that's you know the same old tire they're kind of dry rotted but once again for a beater bike this bike is perfect uh black seats black seat posts black seat clamp i don't even know if this is frozen i don't know if you could adjust it i don't know and i might not try it to be honest with you that's just what it is uh continuing with the all black frame you could tell you used to have a gyro because there's a little gyro uh, parts where the brake would come into two and then uh, come down through here. I, I wish I had U-brakes because then I would put brakes on it. But I don't have U-brakes so I can't really put brakes on it because I don't want to spend anything more on this one. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to put in the description. Uh, spray painted black. No brakes. Everything seems to be working. That's pretty much the description. So, oh, uh, new grease there. Sprayed the free hub, new grease here, and new grease on the front wheel. The only thing I didn't put new grease on is the back wheel because once again, it was spilling really, really freely. So I figured it's still good. I should have done it, but I was too lazy. Uh, another thing I messed up is I wanted to put this wheel in the back and that wheel in the front. But by the time I realized it was kind of like oh well you know this is a 20 times 195 that's a 20 times 2.125 you usually put the thicker one in the front but it's not that much of a difference so not that big of a deal see the little grease marks right there uh, once again you can tell the kickstand here very importantly guys if your bike has a kickstand and you're actually freestyling on it first of all you're a brave person second of all take off the kickstand all right if you're doing tricks if you're jumpy take off the kickstand because if you're doing a trick a tail whip a what an ollie something simple that kickstand could come down 
and when you land it will completely mess you up i've seen it a thousand times so uh that's probably why they don't have kickstand so anyways if you're going to do tricks don't have a kickstand if i'm wrong let me know so uh this is pretty much in the bars i mean i don't know any of the brands because nothing has a brand once again that's something but it does spin freely look at that's another way you could tell that it's uh it, it's it's a low kmart target build walmart build because nothing here has a brand it probably had stickers saying x games tony hawk uh whatever rhino magnum whatever it is that they carry and through when they went through the paint job they took it off and that's why it has no uh no branding that's that's my reasoning and unless you could prove me wrong let me know if you could know what frame this is tell me i'd like to know just out of curiosity but that's pretty much that's pretty much all it is on this particular bike once again nothing special but i'm in here for 10 bucks and a used chain which you know a new a new chain is another ten dollars so let's just say 20 bucks so this is just what's out there guys um if you're willing to look and take the time and build relationships once again this came off you know one of my scrap guy yard friends scrap scrapper friends that you know it's going to the scrap yard and i was like I'll give you three bucks three bucks for the whole bike he said i'll take it uh gave my other friend five dollars for two tubes not one tube two tubes he said i'll take it so i'm in this one a total for eight dollars and uh yeah there she is y'all show cycles out <laughs>